Now, as we come to the end of a wonderful evening, I didn't think I'd enjoy it, but I did. Um, <laughs> we now come to the Moscow Art Theatre's Golden Seagull Award, jointly given by that historic institution and by you, darling. As an evening standard chairman in recognition of the bond between British and Russian theatre. So please tell us a little bit about it. The Golden Seagull Award uh, is particularly dear to me because of its Russian connection. It originates in the Moscow Arts Theatre, where Konstantin Stanislavsky directed his first plays, uh, where Anton Chekhov's career as a playwright began, and where Michael Chekhov evolved his acting method. It has only been given outside of Russia for the last three years, and it is given to celebrate the excellence in international theater. In its first year, it was given to an actor. In its second year, it was given to a director. And this year, it's going to a playwright. And which better playwright could it go to than one who has educated Russian audiences with such plays as rock and roll about um, Soviet domination of his native Czechoslovakia and the coast of Utopia, which is about the beginnings of Russian Revolution. He has also entertained the British audiences with his widely acclaimed adaptation of The Cherry Orchard, and he's about to astonish us all with his new take on Anna Karenina. He's also very modest, charming, and probably the most elegant man I know, apart from myself, of course. <laughs> gives me the greatest of pleasures to pin this golden seagull onto the chest of the one and only Sir Tom Stoppard. <laughs> well, I accept this with proper humility because the truth of the matter is that um, I couldn't give back as much as I've received from having a certain connection with Russian theatre. Uh, the, the people I know in the Russian theatre are the dearest, most generous people and clever at it and clever with it. Um, I've benefited enormously from them. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you so much. Um, I was at a play called Collaborators on Friday night and unless this was a playwright's joke, I understand that a previous winner of this award was Joseph Stalin. But, you know, uh, here it is. I, I wear it with a certain amount of ambivalent pride. Thank you so much. <laughs> It is, ladies and gentlemen, we really do have it. We have just to congratulate all those shortlisted, those who ultimately triumphed, and all those who fitted into their dinner suits <laughs> tonight. <laughs> and thank you to Evgeny Lebovev and the Evening Standard, too. The Evening Standard, mustn't forget them for their continued support of the London stage. Thank you. And thank you to... Also, we have to thank our sponsors, our proud partners and sponsors, Vogue, which is a lovely fashion magazine that I read when I go to the dentist and I adore it. And Hobbs and American Airlines. So please, darlings, it's been a long but a wonderful, heartwarming night and helps us realize what a great treasure we have in our theater and in those who support us. So kick off your slingbacks, loosen your collars. All that remains is for everyone to celebrate as more drinks are served, or as they say, rather irritatingly in America, enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> and thank you.